The Home Health Quality Improvement National Campaign welcomes you to blood pressure medication management. In this video, we will talk about a few different medications used for treating high blood pressure, how these medications work, and tips on taking your medication. High blood pressure is a common condition where the force of the blood in artery walls is high enough to eventually cause health problems, such as heart disease. Blood pressure is determined by the amount of blood your heart pumps and the amount of resistance to blood flow in your arteries. The more blood your heart pumps and the narrower your arteries, the higher your blood pressure. High blood pressure, also called hypertension, generally develops over many years, oftentimes without any symptoms. Even without symptoms, damage to blood vessels and your heart continues. Uncontrolled high blood pressure increases your risk of serious health problems, including heart attack and stroke. Fortunately, high blood pressure can be easily detected, and once you know you have high blood pressure, you can work with your doctor to control it. There are a variety of different medications used to reduce blood pressure. Here are a few examples of medications and how each works in your body. Beta blockers reduce nerve impulses to the heart and blood vessels. They cause the heart to beat slower with less force and blood pressure drops, allowing the heart not to work so hard. Some of the beta blockers prevent the formation of a hormone which normally causes the blood vessels to narrow. Others can either cause the blood vessels to relax or widen or open blood vessels by relaxing the muscle in the vessel walls and your pressure goes down. A diuretic or water pill works in the kidney to flush out extra water and sodium from the body through the urine. There are many other diuretics available to lower blood pressure, and they work in various ways. Sometimes, people need to take two or more medications to bring their blood pressure down to a safe level. When you start a medication, work with your doctor to get the right medication and dose level that's right for you. You can take medications as the doctor ordered, but still not have your blood pressure under control. It's important to check your blood pressures often and keep a record of the results so you can see when your blood pressures go higher. If your blood pressure is going up, talk with your doctor about a blood pressure goal for the top number and the bottom number so you'll know when you should notify the office. Talk to your doctor, nurse, or therapist about different lifestyle modifications that can help lower your blood pressure. You may want to watch the How to Check My Own Blood Pressure video to learn more. If you're worried about the cost of your blood pressure medication, tell your doctor or pharmacist. There may be a less expensive medication or a generic form that you can use instead. Never stretch out your medicines or skip doses. Remember, it's important that you take your medications as prescribed to prevent a heart attack or stroke. Proper usage of medications has been associated with improved health, increased physical function, and decrease in falls, improved mental awareness, and increased driver safety for older adults. You may be asking, what about side effects of my medication? If you have side effects, tell your doctor, nurse, or therapist. Be sure your healthcare team knows about other medications you're taking, including over-the-counter medications, vitamins, and dietary supplements. Some over-the-counter medications, such as arthritis, pain, and cold medicines, can raise your blood pressure. It is easy to miss taking a dose of your medications. What steps are you taking to remember your medications? Try to associate medication times with something you do on a daily basis, such as eating meals, reading the paper, when you first get up, or when you go to bed. It's easy to forget to take medicines, but just like putting your socks on in the morning and brushing your teeth, taking your medicine needs to become part of your daily routine. Where do you store your medication? In the kitchen? Bedroom? Bathroom? Check with your pharmacist to see if there are any special recommendations for where to store your medications. Sometimes the moisture in a bathroom or kitchen is not good for certain medications. Establishing a safe place for your medication and a routine for taking them is very important for your safety. Many people have multiple medications and might need help with organizing the pills for the week. Don't be afraid to ask for assistance with setting up a medication schedule. There are different devices available at your local pharmacy, other stores, or online to help with medication management. Pill boxes with hourly, daily, and weekly setups can help with timely medication. 
There is other equipment available, such as a pillbox with a timer, an audio reminder, or a watch with timed vibration. Use notes and other reminders to help you remember to take your medications. Ask your family to help you with reminder phone calls and messages. Remember, medication habits are unique to you, so work on a daily routine that best fits your lifestyle. When routines are disrupted, medication habits can also be disrupted. Talk with your doctor about what you would do if you forget to take your blood pressure medicine. Don't forget to refill your medication. Each time you pick up a refill, make a note on your calendar to order and pick up the next refill before the medication is due to run out. If you have a hard time reading the small print on your pill bottle, request large print labels from the pharmacy. Also, ask for the easy off caps if you have arthritis or difficulty opening the childproof bottles. A pharmacist can also be helpful for you with your medication management plan. Thank you for watching this video, Blood Pressure Medication Management. The message we want to leave you with is that high blood pressure can be easily detected, and once you know you have high blood pressure, you can work with your doctor to control it. Along with taking medication, talk with your doctor, nurse, or therapist about lifestyle habits to lower your risk for heart attack and stroke. <laughs>